Our movement today is gonna to come from our side, and this is a movement that shocks a lot of people when we have them do it for their first time. So we're gonna increase some strength and stability at the hip. So from here is what we're gonna do, we're gonna get onto our side. You might need a pillow underneath your hip here, but we're onto our side. We're gonna focus on this top leg here. We're gonna make sure that that top leg is nice and straight. From here, we're going to create circles at the hip. All right, the hip is the ball and socket joint, so it's doing exactly what it's designed to do. But we wanna make sure that we're firing the glutes. So we don't want this circle to be out in front of us like this. We want that circle to be back behind us. So when you start, your ankle is in line with your knee, in line with your hip, in line with your shoulder. Not way back here, not way up here. Right in line. From there, I'm simply going to raise and get into a circle. Small circle here, you shouldn't feel any pain in your lower back. If you do feel pain in your lower back, your circle is probably too big. So just make it a little bit smaller. I'm gonna go ahead and complete 10 to 15 repetitions one way, and then 10 to 15 the other way. So this is a great exercise for those who do have lower back pain or might be recovering from a hip replacement or just suffer from hip pain in general. It's an exercise that, again, looks easy and is far more challenging once you really try it. So give it a shot and let us know how it goes.